Hello and welcome, or welcome back. I'm Crackers and this is The Strange Blacksmith. Today we are going to work on making some rivet sets. This is a uh, top and bottom set used for setting rivets. These are roughly sized for tongs. I have a smaller set that I've made that is for doing the riveting work on stuff like the welcome sign that I made. And I will also be using it for attaching the wings of my Valkyrie helmet. So we are starting these out with a couple off cuts of three quarter inch sucker rod. Uh, these are somewhere around five or six inches, somewhere in there. So we're just gonna draw this down about two inches in to five eighths of an inch. We're going to upset a shoulder inside the pritcher hole. And try not to get too impatient like I did because you do ideally want to keep things pretty centered. This smaller one got pretty far off center and that's because I was rushing. I wasn't taking the time to straighten it back out to make sure that it was upsetting straight. It started to get off. And then as I bent it and tried to straighten it back out, it we started going off center. Once we got it set down to the appropriate height, I put a little bit of a taper on it. And our final step here, just taking our ball punch and driving it right down the center. Ideally, I would work my way up through a couple different sizes to get to these, but these are the only two ball punches that I have. So I went straight from the small punch to the larger punch. So with a lot of pounding and quite a bit of upsetting, we've got these both fitting in the hole quite nicely. 
They just need some uh, final grinding to get them cleaned up and ground down to size. This guy's the primary one that I need and need to get into use right away. Intended for these smaller rivets, like what I used on the welcome sign. And they are what I intend to use for riveting the wings to the side of the Valkyrie helmet. The larger one is mostly going to be used for like tong rivets and the like, of which I'm not doing right now. Perfect. So this came out pretty nice. I'm a little bit off center with the shank, but that doesn't matter at all. It still spins and moves freely. And now we are going to move on to a top set, which I'm going to use my failed tong half. This was my first attempt at the 90 degree tongs. And this is about where I realized, no, that's not gonna work. And I started over. <laughs> And then I've got this piece of three quarter inch sucker rod that I will use for the top half of the larger set. And just like upsetting the bottom sets, you want to make sure that the top sets stay straight as you're punching them because they will go off center pretty quick. And we actually had the smaller one go off center and I had to grind it and uh, re-straighten it. and a little bit of wire wheeling and they are good to go. I'm pretty happy with the way these came out. I'm not going to harden them. Uh, the smaller ones I'm almost certain are not going to need it. I've done quite a bit of riveting with uh, just that ball punch stamped into a piece of mild steel. The smaller ones get formed cold anyhow so I'm not particularly concerned about it. The larger one I may end up having to revisit later but if I do that will be later. Now that's going to be it. So if you're looking to make a couple sets of rivet sets, I hope this video helped, or at least was entertaining. That's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.